What is up, YouTube? I'm honestly super pissed off right now because 2K18 is really starting to irritate me. Yeah, you're not hearing me in game chat talking about what I'm doing. I was sitting here recording the whole time, whole time, whole entire video, just talking about what I was doing, you know, just casually doing the commentary, you know what I mean? And the whole time I was talking, I was talking, and again, uh, like last episode, when I was recording that whole offseason, the game crashed, and I could not save what I was doing, so I had to recap it again. That's really starting to irritate me on 2K18. Now, when I'm talking the whole time, I go back and listen to the clips, and it doesn't hear my voice at all, and I checked my settings. My uh, my voice was coming through my mic. I could hear myself coming through the mic. I uh, went on uh, the audio settings, and the mic, Blue Yeti, was set as my audio um, input and output. So it was coming through. So basically, it was coming through. And it's working perfectly right now. You know what I mean? Um, I'm doing this on my editing app now. And I have to just talk over this. And I don't like doing that. I do not like doing that. It's stupid. You guys are just casually watching me do it, which I could be talking about what I'm doing. But it's irritating. It is very irritating, honestly. And it start it's starting to piss me off because I'm trying to put out good videos for you guys and I'm trying to do good things this year and 2k 18 is already slowing me down a little bit because um, uh, just losing footage of off seasons is really starting to make me mad because um, it just like the game crashes every time I'm in the off season for too long and I take my time doing what I'm doing showing you guys what I'm doing in the off season and the game just crashes and it's really really irritating but anyways guys so what i was trying to do here is i was trying to trade isaiah thomas and i could not find a trade for him so i decided to wait till the trade deadline to trade him so that's when i tell you guys you know i'm gonna wait till the trade deadline to trade him which you guys would be hearing if the game could actually hear me but we do get to the trade deadline and we find this good trade um for kimba walker which was cool and all i mean uh kimba walker is a decent point guard on a cheaper one of the cheaper contracts in the nba so i decided to take this trade mkg and jr smith were included as well and i take that trade good trade right and i love that trade um it worked out well for us and i and i like it um we get kimba walker as a point guard now iman shumpert st steps up in shooting guard which uh, i don't really like he's not a great shooting guard by any means but he is more of a three and d kind of guy but he can't shoot that well I'd rather have Kyle Korver starting, but, you know, I didn't really do anything about it. So, um, I guess uh, Kimba Walker and uh, Iman Shumpert will be starting in the backcourt, which I'm happy with Kimba Walker trade. Uh, Derek Rose is still obviously on the bench. And um, MKG, you know, we already had a small forward uh, and Jay Crowder off the bench, but I decided to just leave it how it is. And I simulate to the rest of the season. And uh, I pray for the best and hope we make it to Aussie. See, this right here, this is why I don't like doing talking um over the video i'm not gonna i'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys i'm bsing my way through this because i don't really know i'm not good at these uh voiceovers you know what i mean no one does a voiceover when it comes to rebuilding they talk live while they're doing it and it's easier to do that and this right here this right here is where i lost all that footage you see everything is done basically i did everything in the off season i recorded all of that i recorded every single bit of that and it just lost all of so honestly, it's just really irritating. 2K18 is starting to get the best of me, honestly. It's starting to really piss me off. I'm not going to lie to you. One bit, not going to lie to you. I'm just telling you the truth. It's really starting to piss me off because 2K18 is definitely holding me back a lot. I mean, losing footage, um, not hearing my voice while I'm talking on the game is starting to piss me off. So I go through the trades that I was doing right here. You guys can kind of see. I'll stop on each one. So the first trade was, you guys saw that one, Isaiah Thomas and J, uh, J.R. Smith for uh, Kimball Walker and Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Then I traded away Tristan Thompson and MKG for Jordan Clarkson. Then I traded away Kyle Korver uh, for a first rounder to dump his contract. And then I traded away. This was the big trade that I wish I would have gotten live. Kevin Love for Blake Griffin. You don't get Blake Griffin very often, so that really irritated me. Iman Shumpert dumped his contract as well, um, and I think that was basically it. And then when you look at the roster, uh, I signed Carmelo Anthony uh, for a cheap contract, and I drafted DeAndre Ayton. So basically, that's the updated move. LeBron James stayed, obviously, and uh, we got Carmelo now. So um, yeah, pretty good offseason, right? Wouldn't you guys love to have seen what I did live? It was really irritating that... Once again, the game crashed. I thought we were over that. It, it crashed on the Lakers rebuild as well. It didn't do it on the Pistons one. I don't know why, but it's starting to do it a lot. And um, I go in here trying to get a backup point guard, but then I, I think I forget about it later. But um, you guys can just keep watching and see what I'm doing. I wanted to get Ty Lawson. Um, I tried to sign Ty Lawson last time, 
uh, I do get Ty Lawson, but it crashed. As soon as I was signing Ty Lawson, the game crashed, but this time it didn't. So I was scared to click sign Ty Lawson, but the game didn't crash that time. Um, thankfully, I guess. Um, it's just really irritating, guys. I mean, can you imagine just doing all this work and then it just... Yeah, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. You do all this work and it just gets erased pretty much, deleted. Like you, basically you're doing an essay, you know what I mean? And you're typing all these words, like a thousand word essay or something like that. And uh, you do the essay and um, some someone deletes it off your computer or something. Like wouldn't that be very irritating? Basically how I feel right now. Um, I give the training camp to uh, DeAndre Aiden, un untapped potential. Um, I see you guys' rotation here, obviously, which I usually do in every episode. Kimba Walker, Jordan Clarkson. I would rather start Camilo, Carmelo, so I put uh, Carmelo at the shooting guard spot instead of uh, uh, Jordan Clarkson. So that's our rotation. Kimba Walker, Carmelo, LeBron James, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Aiden, Clarkson, Crowder, uh, Lawson, and I put in Zizic instead of uh, uh, Kuzminskis because I don't really like Kuzminskis anyway. So... Um, that's the rotation. It looks pretty beastly, and I feel like we're going to win a championship. You know what I mean? It's a great rotation. We have a good team, and I love what our oh, what I was doing this offseason. So when we get into the playoffs, basically, um, actually not in the playoffs. This is actually where oh, we are not in the playoffs yet, just yet. This is where I was just trying to make up for lost time of the offseason, or the video would have been like six minutes long because um, there's just not a whole lot to do with the Cavs, even though I did a lot. Basically, what I was talking here is... This is another thing. This is like something I'm just going to open up to you guys again about it. Um, lately, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been losing motivation to do stuff. Um, just stuff with the personal life. I've been losing motivation to do certain things. It has sucked. I'm not going to lie. Um, I hate losing motivation. I don't like it. And I've been trying to fight through it, which I kind of have been. I've still been doing videos for you guys. But this is going on for about a week now. Um, probably part four of the bold predictions. I was starting to lose motivation to do videos. I've been losing motivation to even play 2K18. I've been losing motivation to just do stuff. And it does suck because I love putting out videos for you guys and I shouldn't be complaining or anything. Um, this is me not trying to complain. This is me just simply telling you guys the fact of the matter is that um, I have been losing motivation. I just wanted to open up to you guys. I usually don't do this, but something that's been going on with me uh, a lot of things have been happening, and I've just been losing motivation to do certain things. I know I've said that already, but I'm going to say it again. Um, anything in the comment section could really help right now. That's all I'm saying. Like, I just need, I just need that another. Like, I just need that push of motivation. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you just kick down the ground, and nothing's going to get you back up. But then something happens, and it makes you want to stand right the, right back up. You know, I was about to cuss, but you know, YouTube is PG now, so you can't do that. Um, Unless you want to lose uh, demonetization, or unless you want to lose monetization, which I don't. Um, so anything in the comment section could really help right now. Just help me uh, personally. I would really appreciate that. Um, I know I should be really motivated right now because we're getting closer to 1,000 subscribers, and I think I feel like once we reach it, it'll help me out a lot. But for right now, uh, we're just kind of slowly growing. It's been kind of going slow. That's another thing. YouTube has been going slow lately. Uh, my videos haven't been getting as much views as they used to. So that's been kind of kicking me back to the ground too as well. Um, just hopefully uh, it, it hits me again. I just get that motivation right back. It would, that would really help out a lot. I mean, it's going to happen. but It's going to bring me back once again. I mean, it's going to help out. It's going to come back eventually. But just a comment. Just a comment why you watch my videos or why you like or subscribe to me or something like that could really help me right now that's all i'm asking for so if not that's fine just tell me it was a good video or whatever you want to do tell me i'm stupid i don't care um that's that's all i really want to say about that so uh okay i right here i go ahead and cut to the playoffs because i think i was done talking about it so um let's cut to the playoffs and um we're in the playoffs and here are the stats when you can see lebron james with 23 points uh, Kim Walker with 20, Blake Griffin with eight, almost 18, Carmelo with 15, Carson with 11, and Crowder with 7. So, yeah, that's a pretty decent stat line for these guys all the way around. We had a lot of good scores on our roster, and we were facing the Hornets in the first round, I believe, and they did sign Isaiah Thomas back. Not going to lie, Isaiah Thomas does look pretty good in those colors. Um, so, Charlotte Hornets, you want to sign next season? Go ahead and do so. Uh, Backcourt of Kimba and Isaiah Thomas would be bad defensively, but you know what? Go ahead and do it. Anyway, actually, I don't even know if Kimba's a good defender or not, 
But uh, we move or we are up 2-0 on the Hornets. We go up 2-1, but they do win a game, and then we're up 3-1, and we move on in five. Facing the Detroit Pistons in the next round. Um, and the Detroit Pistons, they got Andre Drummond, Avery Bradley still. They got Tobias Harris, Reggie Jackson, Seth Curry, John Luer, Bo Bond, the GOAT, Stanley Johnson, that per the guy that's going to progress a lot, I feel like, in the upcoming seasons because I um, feel like they're going to get him a lot more opportunities. And um, one thing I did notice is that 2K, 2K, every 2K player has been progressing lately. It's not just young players anymore, so that's cool to see, I guess. Cleveland, uh, we're up. Uh, we were up, we were down one two. Now we're uh, or now we are down two three. So we gotta get back in here and win two games in a row. Which uh, let's see if we can do that. We do the you know simcast stuff. We move on in this game, I believe. So we do move on. I think we move on from this entire round. Sorry to spoil it, but uh, we go to a, game seven. We're at home. Um, let's hope we can get past the Pistons, which we do. So that's good to see. I mean, and we're in the Eastern Conference Finals, as the Cavs should be with LeBron James. We're facing the Washington Wizards. I go ahead and show you guys their roster again. Uh, John Wall, Bradley Beal, Otto Porter, Markeith Morris, Marcin Cortot, Cody Zeller, Nwamba, Malcolm Delaney. Pretty good roster, so, uh, but I don't feel like they're better than us, of course. But 2K has something else to say about it, as we are down 2-1 to start the series. Now we're down 3-2. Uh, so uh, we got to win another game. We got to win two games in a row again, which we did against Pistons. But this time we're going to come up short because, you know, 2K does not like me. So uh, that sucks. But other than that, guys, that's it for me, really. Um, just keep in mind what I said in the video. And uh, hopefully 2K can just fix itself a little bit. It's really been starting to irritate me, set me back a little bit. But that's it for me, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already. We're getting close to 1,000 subscribers. But this is Crush Bulls. I appreciate you guys' support. I love it. And this is, and, and I'm, I can't even talk. And I'm saying peace.